In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the trend function in Microsoft Excel, which is a function that will return a linear trend or a forecast based on the known values that you give it, which is a great function if you want to get some sort of basic trend of your data and is helpful if you want to avoid errors in different calculations that you're doing. So to show you how you can do this, do equals trends, open parentheses, and the first argument is the known y's. Looks a bit weird in your data set, because at least for me, whenever I open a function, my first intention is to go ahead and grab what's on the left. But and think of it like a graph. So if you're graphing revenue in this instance, your known y's are going to be the revenue. Your known x's are going to be the x's with the same array. And now your new x's is going to be these things that you want to forecast. So we have revenue in this example from January through October. When you want to forecast it, we're getting linear trend, bring that linear trend into the future. And then the last argument is the constant. So basically, do you want the intercept set to zero at false, or do you want it to be calculated normally is true? And as you can see, last, last argument is in parentheses, as are these first two, but I'm not I'm gonna go gonna skip over that one for the time being. Close parentheses. And as you can see, now I have a basic linear forecast based on the data that is set here. And to kind of make a quick graph to show you what that looks like, I'm going to show you, go through insert, right with the charts, all charts in the line. And as you can see, you can kind of clearly see where the November 2024 um, timeline is kind of shown here. So our historical data is, is much more volatile, much more choppy. What here is going forward, there it produces a linear trend, which based on data that you're working with is obviously not exactly what you're looking for. But this is hopeful if you're, but honestly, it's better than absolutely nothing and can be used as a some sort of a filler. And a trend function can fill in missing pieces of your data if you don't have anything else better to use. So that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.